focus on the things that I'm missing and not on the basic things that I already know. Okay, okay, great to know that, yeah. So, uh, Robert, um, I will tell you for myself, my name is Mahesh Kumavat, and um, I'm working for the past 15 years in the information technology industry. And I'm a corporate trainer as well, so I have more than five years experience on the corporate training. So I'm basically providing uh, the security, cyber security, AWS, Azure, cloud computing, PMP, Six Sigma, and uh, the ITAL. So uh, there are different domain actually. So different, different domains. Nice. And, uh, I'm working as a senior project manager um, in, in India, in the company. So, what is this? Uh, what you said the last sentence? I'm working as a senior project manager. Oh, I see. Okay, so uh, the matter of fact that uh, it, it, right now uh, the companies are, you know what, uh, the MNCs are uh, closed. So we have online classes, training, everything is going on. Okay. So uh, I, I will tell you that because I'm, we are working professionals for the past 15 years in the industry. So uh, uh, as you're talking about them, Azure and uh, the AWS, Google Cloud, so I'm certified all of them. Nice. Okay, and I'm also uh, providing, uh, you know, what the consultancy, consultancy, and also the corporate trainings and uh, working in a company. So a uh, different, different exposure. So uh, I will let you know because uh, you told me that you have exposure on, uh, uh, you know, what plural side you have seen it and you have seen some videos and you have some consultancy business and you are right now struck that how would I run my existing business, uh, okay. So uh, this is what you want to learn that ex experience on the technologies is very important. Okay, okay. Sounds so, good. Uh, I'm really happy that you have so much exposure uh, because AWS, I do, I have one customer that uh, I do AWS for, but I use the very, very basic features, uh, just the VM, uh, you know, I have a server. And one of the goals of this course is beyond uh, the class, which is what we focus on. Uh, after the class, I'm hoping that uh, with uh, some of your time, uh, I could implement an enterprise level application on Azure. Um, uh, I wanna do it as a, uh, as a case study so that I can use it to get more uh, business later uh, so I can uh, uh, convince my customers. So I, I know how to convince my customers why they need Azure. Uh, and by myself, I don't think after the class, I'm going to have enough maturity to, to utilize everything because I want to be able to use it as a showcase um, that, uh, you know, I take advantage of all the features and be able to talk to it later. Uh, so I'm giving you my long-term goal uh, I, again, my uh, now we focus on the class, um, uh, and I'm just going to go through it. Uh, at one point, I'm hoping that after you show me the outline, I can um, tell you which sections I'm uh, I'm familiar with and which sections I need more help, and that way I can save you time, and and I wouldn't be bored with uh, going over material that I'm familiar with. Okay. Okay. So uh, the first thing I would like to tell you that uh, the Azure and AWS or Google, whatever the cloud you're going to be choosing it, okay? Uh, the concepts are remain same, uh, whatever you're going to be choosing it. And the second thing is uh, the practical scenarios. Yes, we have only, you know what, 20, 30% of the practical and 70% the architecture designing and concepts and understanding the scenarios of the business. This is what the matters is all about. Great. Okay, and uh, the thing is important here. I will let you know that uh, once you're going to be, you know what, uh, the client cloud consultancy is different thing, and cloud technology is different thing. Okay. Oh. So cloud consultancy is is this you going to be convinced to the clients, and the clients are going to provide you business. This is what the consultancy is all about. Yes. Okay. And the technology is all about, you need to understand uh, the scenarios, what the client's requirement, how you're going to be development the things as per the client needs. So 
the cost effective solution the flexibility resilience performance this is what you want to be considered in your mind i see okay so uh, yes i understand your uh, long term goals so i will going to be uh, providing a strategies uh, for you to providing a, you know what long term businesses for your company as your consultancy companies as well uh, okay and the second thing i will let you know that uh, yes how uh, the effective things yes i know that the robot know uh, the basic fundamentals or the consultancy sort of stuff but what is the experience needed exposure needed to how to you know what providing cost effective solution to the enterprise companies that is what they are looking for it yeah exactly so uh, the different different companies you have seen that yes uh, we already uh, engaged in the azure aws whatever cloud it would be but uh, they are more concerned about that how effective solution they going to be provide okay uh, because they will invest the money the first thing the second thing they will going to say that yes hey robert come on we require the cost effective solutions how do you going to be reduce the costing on the aws or azure or whatever yes Okay, and the third thing is how uh, technical experience, exposure, all those things is matters a lot because in the cloud you have seen that uh, uh, yes, practical is twenty thirty percent, but the concept, the logic behind it, it's matter a lot because how effectively you have uh, standardized the things on the technology side. So you have seen that different uh, companies like Uber or like uh, the Amazon or you can say different companies. So they are adopting the cloud just because of they they have they know that that we have some flexibilities in the future. Yes. So the com so the clients is, is required that yes we have to do business but right now we have twenty or ten servers instances we have running it but in future we have some flexibility uh, to moving. further on the same right so how effectively how cost effective solution is you going to providing it and also the performance is a main concern over there yeah. because of, so you can scale it later and yes. the idea is to be able yeah so this is one of the things that i picked up from uh, learning it is that i try to convince the client to build it to be cloud re cloud ready mm -hmm. so that when we go to the cloud Uh, we can scale it uh, uh, based uh, and improve performance possibly like you said yeah that sounds great yes and uh, the very important prospects for you uh, robert uh, yes cloud technology you can going to be understand yes it is is as per the syllabus everything but uh, once we talking about the compliance part okay the csa part cloud security okay. alliance 4.0 okay and this is what how you would like to go the auditing of the cloud because uh, you have different different resources going to do the technology work but as a uh, client prospects you need to do some auditing on the cloud side how would you do the auditing so this is what i am going to tell you in this particular sessions okay so cloud okay. security cloud architectures cloud designing and cloud usability as per the scenario based questions because different clients have different needs you cannot be doing the same scenario on the same all those clients exactly so business uh, understanding is more important so first of, first of all i would like to tell you that the capital expenditure and the operational expenditures two different things so yeah. the companies are going to uh, invest the capital expenditure but the operational expenditure how effective you going to operate all those resources instances this is matters a lot i see okay. so uh, we have in the agenda i have uh, providing to you an outline as not as per this particular syllabus i will going to provide out of the syllabus sometimes because uh, sometimes you see that uh, we require to uh, we know what how we going to be uh, um, auditing of the cloud what is the security in the cloud how the performance measurement in the cloud what is the frameworks of the cloud what is the architecture designing of the cloud so first of all as a client suppose i understand your requirement and then i will let you know the solution architect sort of things okay okay what is the best solution i will going to provide you two three options same time okay the first option is this the plan a and plan b and plan c hmm. so uh, the plan a the costing would be this one plan b costing this one plan c this is the costing this one okay as per the client is going to understand the business continuity planning and the disaster recovery planning 
Suppose any disaster will be happen, so how your business going to be run smoothly? This is a matters a lot in the cloud. Okay. So uh, once we're going to be architecture and designing of the cloud, the BCP concept and the disaster recovery concept is is working uh, in the data centers as well. Uh, is required a, to understand more effectively what is the strategies for the deployment or implementations, configurations, all those like cloud. Here, you know, so uh, we have uh, here, you know, a number of things we're going to be discussing to this because you already have experience exposure on the same. So uh, as a consultant, as a uh, solution architect, or as a cloud expert, what's your advice to your clients so that they will be going to provide a cost-effective solution and the best performance of your cloud so that effectively your business will be growing. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. So uh, this is what we're going to be study. And also as per the syllabus, yes, we have different things like Sentinel, we have security is one, one of them, the architecture is one of them. So we have different, different things. Yes, we're talking about all of them, but apart from this, the technology required experience, okay? I know that Robert have the experience, but uh, Robert have lacking some experience on the technology, how to use effectively all those things. This is what you're going to be learning it. Okay. Uh, so I just want to be sure. So we are doing Azure 301 and not 303, right? Yes. We're going okay. to do is, is he, uh, 303. Uh, is it 3.3? Which one? AZ? AZ 303, I think. Uh, I, I got the information. So implement okay. and Let monitor and Azure infrastructure. I was going to do 303, but I wanted to do 301 first. But let me just to be double check my uh, notes so that okay. we are both on the same page. One second, please. Okay, yeah, that would be great. So idea, uh, Robert, because... Uh, oh, so AZ my registration is 303. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought 303 was... There are two, right? 303 and 304, right? For yes. uh, Azure. Okay, so we are on 303 and we are on, I checked my mail and that's, uh, we are on the same page. Um, yeah, you can double check uh, all your mails and then communicate with the same email so that, uh, yes, I will going to help you out. Uh, what is the best for you? Okay, I have a question. Do you have a website where I can see the outline of the course? Or do you have a way for me to see an outline? Mm, yes, I have uh, checked on the right now internet. So uh, wait a second. This is what I'm getting. I, are you able to see the screen? Uh, yes, I am. So this is the easy uh, C3.303. Uh, implement you and you me? Oh, you just send it to me? I will gonna send you that. Wait a second. Okay. So this is what I <laughs> I have sent you, uh, Robert. Okay, and uh, you're just going to be communicate via my mobile number. I will going to send you on the WhatsApp number as well. Yes, you can send me on WhatsApp. Do you do you need me? Do you need me to send you the uh, my name or whatever way to connect yes. to me? Yes, I I have uh, sent you already my WhatsApp number. Oh, you did. One second. Okay. And this is my mail ID. So you're just going to connect me on the same so that we have the same page. Is there any communications you're going to be doing it here? Okay, one second. Uh, um, I don't see any. Uh, I have sent you on the Zoom uh, chat. So, one second, I'm not very familiar. I use Teams, so. Okay. Uh, here, is this where the Zoom chat? Yeah. Oh, you send me the yeah the phone number. Okay. 
Give me two seconds, if you please. Okay. बिना फोन कर ले भाई बात हुई किधर ही ऊपर तो फिर साढ़े तीन ऊपर लो साढ़े तीन में कर ले फिर अगर तुम नहीं मान नहीं चली तो ऊपर लो कर ले फिर कहीं दिक्कत नहीं ऊपर लो भी तो यार जो मना दीजिए हेलो हेलो यह हम आई हूँ ओके हम ऑलमोस्ट देर Okay, so you got it, right? Yeah, I got your message on the WhatsApp. Okay, let me write down your name so that I can. Uh, uh, I have any contact. Okay, so I got that, and the next is uh. <laughs> Okay, next is the study guide. I can see it. Uh, it is. Is it the plural site or? Because uh, I can see somebody named Ravi Kiran. No, it's. It's. it's I have taken from uh, on the internet right now, Ravi Krishna. So my guides are. You are going to find out somewhere. Else. I'm sorry. I'm gonna send to you. My have documents are available. Wait a second. So is that Ravi's uh, class? Is it similar to our outline? Maybe I can use it as a way to. 
to uh, remind me where we are. Yes, we uh, what when the class will be here, you is going to connect me on the WhatsApp, give, give me message as so that we will uh, real time communications. So there is no conflict on the classes, timing, everything. That's why I have provide you the WhatsApp number. Okay. okay. So what what time I can call you uh, on this number without bothering you? Uh, yeah. Is it before the meeting or how does it work? Yes, right now as per the Indian time is eight uh, nine p nine a.m. in the morning. So yeah, um, uh, at what's the timing uh, from your location right now, Washington? I I am when we. Uh, so ideally for me, 9.30 Eastern, uh, now it is, I think, uh, 10 Eastern, I think. No, it's 9.25, 10.25. So is this convenient to you at 9.30? Yeah, almost 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. in the morning is good for me. So yeah, half okay. an hour uh, is, is good for okay. us, no problem whatsoever. Okay, so what I'll do is I will go in every day. So what I, do you mind remind me the schedule? Is it Monday to Thursday? Or is it Sunday to Thursday? Remind me what's convenient to you. I, I will going to create a schedule and let you know, okay? Uh, uh, on the same time, I will going to create a schedule, okay? Uh, the classes, and then I will going to share to you. Now, don't worry about it. I will going to share to you on the, on the WhatsApp and share me your email ID as well so that I will go to forward your email as well. Okay. Ideally for me, the best time is Monday through uh, Thursday. At, and so even if we are less hours than uh, normal, it's better for me. Is that, okay? is that acceptable to you? Yeah, yeah. I, we will going to communicate on the same, no problem. I will going, going to provide you the timing okay. as others like it because it's also uh, my official hours is 10, uh, starting from 10. So yes, we're going to do some, you know what, uh, uh, two hours classes per day. Is this good for you? Yeah, yeah. And again, we don't have to do all the hours as long as we are focused on the things that uh, are relevant to me. Uh, you know, the, what you describe is perfect for me uh, because the basic stuff, I think I can remember if I look it up, it's the more complex things that I missed, but it's also important to me to understand the outline of the course, mm -hmm. not just the general theory, because I want to be able to feel comfortable that I covered all the materials of the course, if possible. Okay, sure. So I will go to send you schedule. Yeah, I will go to send you the timing, date, everything, and also I'm going to send you syllabus, uh, the contents of uh, the course, so that you will familiar all those things before we're going to doing the classes. So yeah, this is the uh, uh, things we're going to doing it as per the same, okay. right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is my Google Drive. If you, I'm just going to already send you the link on the chat box. This is the chat box and I'm going to send you the Google Drive link. And this is my, uh, this is my Google Drive and this is Azure. And you're just going to find out each and everything from the, the Azure things. Okay, Azure versus AWS, Azure Automation, Azure Machine Learning, Implementation, Azure Solution, uh, Azure Handbook, okay, Azure Web Dev Applications for Developers, uh, Cloud Computing, Azure, Azure Automation. Okay, so uh, yeah, you will going to find out a number of things, my dear. Okay, do you have any plural site? Uh... Classes? No, plural site. I'm not going to uh, take it. This is my personal email, personal drive. Oh wow! I have access to everything. Yes. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I can without signing in. It looks like I can see everything. Yes, you want to sign it everything, and I will want to provide you the download access for everything, so that you going to be download. You going to be steady whenever you are free. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. And also this is AWS is also there. So yeah, you will want to find a number of things. Okay. Um, so we have AWS, we have Azure, we have everything. So yeah, we had number of things we're going to doing it, but the matter of fact that we're going to do step by step, okay. 
uh, the first thing is we're going to do fundamentals of the cloud Azure things so that you are familiar with the things like that. And then we're going to do some advanced things. So I will going to send you the content before going to move, moving it on. Okay, great, great. So I got it now. I have it uh, marked here. Okay. Yeah. So I think I, so I got a few things from you. I have a WhatsApp connection. I have um, some kind of a uh, study guide for a, AZ303. Uh, that is uh, somebody Ravi's. And I have your, your uh, drive, Google Drive with a lot of uh, resources. Um, okay, sounds good. Okay, and also uh, uh, Robert, this is go to google.com. Okay, go to, uh, sorry. <clears throat> And this is what my name it is, Mahesh Kumawat. Find out my name on the book, the YouTube, and then yeah. you will going to do Mahesh Kumawat. This is the first one. Oh, okay. And this is my YouTube channel. So yeah, you will going to find out a number of things, my dear. Cybersecurity, MS Project, Security, TOGAF, K, and oh, you know yeah. TOGAF? Oh, wow, I want to do TOGAF with you. Yeah, TOGAF, AWS, CISA, CISM, Azure Security, AWS. So we, yes, I'm going to train everything, okay, on the platform so that, yes, you're going to familiar with each technology in the depth. That sounds great. Yeah, definitely uh, uh, something. I already played with TOGAF, but I'm not able to, um, to sell my customers on uh, using their processes because the couple customers that I have now are not very large customers. And I used to be like management inside when I was working for them. But as a consultant, it's harder to, unless you are an expert in TOGAF, to actually have them listen to you uh, and, and improve their process. Uh, so as a solution architect, I'm not there, but I like to get refamiliarize myself with it. Um, okay, so let's focus on Azure 303. Uh, and uh, I'm really glad that you have so much uh, broad knowledge. I think will will help me a lot. I appreciate it. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm talking about here because uh, I'm working on a senior project management okay, in the company. So I have worked on different companies like IBM, TCS, uh, you can say Google and also worked on the same different, different companies. So altogether, I have the mixed experience exposure on the information technology side. And so yes, cloud, uh, the TOGF, enterprise architect, solution architects, and cybersecurity expert, forensic investigations. Yeah, so I have different, multiple different, different things. I, I know that, okay. Great. So, that you're talking about for my uh, experience exposure. So this is my, the whole certifications you're going to find it out. So this is, this is the certifications I have done it till now. Okay. But I just realized, are you, the site you gave me for, uh, for your drive, yeah. uh, everything is public? Yes, because everything is public, yes. Oh, wow. Why would you do that? Yes, anyway. it's for uh, for my. I have you know what number of students, number of candidates I have teached more than two thousand, three thousand okay. students. I oh have teached till now. Okay. I was so, expecting yes. to uh, to uh, sign in, but that's fine. Okay, I just want to be sure because I was surprised. I kept on looking and I'm not logged in. Okay. Okay. So yes. So this is all for all of the person. Suppose uh, you say, sir, I, I'm you know what I would like you to understand some. The TOG F9.2. So, yeah, this is for my students. I already, you know, what providing number of uh, uh, you know, what, uh, things for PDF, so understanding everything so that, yes, they will go to understand and then they will come to say, yes, we are working on the same. So, I'm going That's to good. doing all those stuff and also I'm doing, doing this, this YouTube thing. So, yes, this is real time things they're going to understand. 
but uh, here it is uh, the experience exposure or the only two three classes what i'm going to doing it and upload on the same so most of the things you will going to find it out on the experience exposure the real time case scenarios this is what i'm going to teach on the on the real side because i'm going to talking about all the line business studies okay business case studies only so the agenda i will want to share to you uh the first things we going to understand some concepts and uh, the theoretical concepts theoretical and, and uh, then we talking about some the real time case study okay so yes you want to say sir uh, my my client is uh, requirement is just all about so how would i proceed further so this is real time case studies the third thing is assignment you need to uh, provide me some assignments i will let you help you now okay and the thing fourth thing is basically i am going to provide you some you know what as your projects and uh, uh, the scenario based questions oh i see i just realized what you're trying to do so you're not covering the microsoft class but instead you're covering what are the skills i need to know or or the information style of of, of solving information so i can pass the test am i right yes, because yes 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 basically yes uh, the concept and theoretical suppose we have done az303 we have done okay yes the things is going to going to be working but at the same time uh, we talking about some real time case studies okay uh, of different different scenarios suppose you have yeah, clients yeah. have different requirement analysis all those stuffs okay yeah i'm talking about the same things and uh, yes th then i will going to provide some assignments so you need to submit me some assignments real time sa assignments suppose i'm going to say how if your client is facing some ddos attack okay distribution denial of service attacks on on the azure instance instances so how would you uh, secure your clients from the security point of view so this assignments i'm going to providing it and then i'm talking about some azure uh, projects i will going to provide you some different different projects to work on and then you need to provide some scenario based questions and answer i will going to talking about suppose okay. i am your customers and i am asking that hey, robert could you please uh, uh, tell me that i would like to run a website and uh, i my website is you know what performance is very slow sometimes and it is not going to be down at any point of time so what's the solution you going to be providing it so uh, what type of load balancers you going to say that so, okay so it's traffic load balancers or application load balancer which is perfect and why okay like makes it? sense so Sounds this good. all the things uh, i'm going to take uh, talking about because the matter of fact that robert you, you are perfect into the consultancy so what you have some technical and managerial questions answers ready so that you will going to convince your uh, clients very effectively yeah yeah okay would you be kind and send me this uh, four lines outline and put it in the chat so i can keep track of uh, our conversation yeah yeah i i already recording the sessions to you okay don't worry i will going to provide a recording session as well and uh, whatever this is uh, i'm going to write it down i will going to provide you on a chat box as well so this is the agenda we going to set great great thank you so uh, one more thing i would like to tell you uh, robert because uh, you know what azure is a very vast field you know that very well that yes we have number yeah. of things number of uh, networking security Yep. number of things so suppose uh, one of the client will say that yes you i'm going to implement as your but how would i start which is the best one thing you want to implement first okay so uh, this is what the architecture and designing things you want to be say that sir what type of architecture and designing and what is your uh, you know what uh, uh, a tier 1 or tier 3 approach for the architect of designing of your cloud suppose you required one location or two locations or three locations so as per the costing will be there right 
okay so availability zones uh, is more more important uh, in this particular concept so we we'll talking about each and everything how effectively how uh, what is the frameworks you have to understand and what type, what are the different different compliances so uh, as you seen that uh, uh, robert i will tell you one more thing is there so in this particular uh, things you have seen that i also done the ccsk and ccsp as well okay this is ccsk is a, uh, this is ccsk clyde and uh, this is also ccsp so ccsp yeah, so is basically me, said, yeah it's something to do with security yes uh, security is very important yes i will going to include all in the 303 all those stuffs so that you are good familiar with this particular client because your requirement is going to be the client uh, consultancy and also getting the business this is what you are looking for it your uh, you know what long term goals yeah i mean security is a very big deal for me and this is something i could spend more time later on it with you if you uh, our time allows i mean on another course but uh, definitely is important what you're saying because uh, it's part of what makes customers uh, spend the money uh, you know if yeah. they so uh, yes i understand so first of all we will go for the ez303 the basic fundamentals what your concepts your logic is everything is done and then we have some advanced topics as well okay so the ccsk is one of them okay the cloud security alliances oh, ccsk okay so cloud security alliances the cloud computing concepts architecture governance okay audit management electronic discovery in, uh, or infrastructure security okay the incident response application security so this is all the things uh, is there okay so starting with the az uh, 303 and then we want to do some more advanced things which is best for your clients best for your knowledge and then you going to be do some further things okay okay so everything is into the uh, into the shared right so you just tick any time okay 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 so uh, then uh, we'll want to do further thing so uh, that's it from my end so anything you would like to ask me sir uh, that how things we going on so agenda is there we have i'm going to set you some schedule timing everything and uh, then we're going to do further things yeah how much are you going to spend time on uh, the con the first one concepts and theoretical okay so if you're talking about the first one yes it will not taking too much time uh, it will takes you around i think four to five classes will be uh, is okay for you uh, and then uh, you know what the mostly if you work, want to work on the industry right so it's not that the, the things that they were going to ask you that what is security central what is the risk management what is all about okay they will simply ask you that yes this is the this is the issues we are going to finding out and how what the the, the solution you want to provide to them so this this is what they are looking for the person are they are looking for a solution architect so that they they will going to understand the how the things are going on so in the az303 you have seen that monitoring as your infrastructure no okay so uh, monitoring oh, is not a big deal my dear it's a security center and uh, azure sentinel is yes this is the two features uh we going to study into the same and uh, uh, i hope you have created account in them or not in the azure side okay. an account where i'm sorry you have created the account on the azure portal or not till now yeah of course i have okay perfect wonderful yeah so that's how i studied I basically everything I learned, I would stop the video and go to Azure and do it uh, myself, so I can understand it. So I understood everything, but of course it's so large that I cannot retain all the information. And because I don't have a customer that is giving me uh, Azure business, I'm not able to remember all the things. So. i'm hoping that this class will get me back uh, and refresh my memory and uh, hopefully help me to uh, uh, get yes. uh, get some business yeah yes yeah, so robert though, the thing is i will tell you honestly is the study and the understanding the plural side from the for all those things this is the very different thing and once you are working on the technologies on the client side 
is very different thing because the lots of challenges lots of experience exposure on a technology is very important prospects because if you have worked on a technology yes you know that if you don't work on a technologies you have study only then you are not going to doing the things anything yeah so good the matter of fact that it's your knowledge or experience exposure on the particular things this is matters a lot yeah yes, the person are I'm going to study from the different different plural site or youtube but it doesn't mean that they know that every, everything yeah it's, of course these exposes different things yeah now i'm i'm a uh, so i'm a solution architect so i'm used to large systems in for my customers but all my customers have vmware type and and we none of because they are all federal government and so none of them has gone to the cloud yet so that's why i am behind from the industry because they are still uh, what they call them uh, you know inside in house servers so there are many things that i don't really understand very well but like the federation and the how how can a domain uh, account access the cloud uh, and have the you know things like that so those are things that i want to iron out also in one of my applications i'm using uh, redis server you know you've heard of it i'm sure okay yeah which is a caching server and i use also i use for packaging uh, docker uh to deploy my my containers but for example one of the weak points i have is kubernetes uh for I, so i can uh, uh deploy uh seamlessly and so those are one of the things that i like to eventually uh uh you know improve uh so both the the security authentication and deployment are things that i would like to improve if i can but just to give you some feedback of where i am in my mind now yes uh, the matter of fact that robert you have done the things but you are not confident in the things how the things will be working absolutely fine so far yeah yeah so the problem is uh, you are uh, uh, the thing is right now you're facing is yeah you can say to the clients yes yeah, i have worked the th- the things and yes i know the things but you have not worked till now so this is the things you don't want to take confidence on the same great thank you so once you worked on the technologies once you have confidence then you are more emphasize on the technologies that this is what you are looking for this is what you come to recommend it to the clients so yes uh, i am going to help you out all those your questions uh, because uh, your questions are, are very sound very good all informations about all those things but yes uh, the development implementations and configurations this is what the things are the quite experience exposure so uh, suppose your client is going to say i would like to migrate my existing infrastructure to the cloud like we have right. to uh, cloud so uh, yeah that's a big thing for me i appreciate that you bring this up definitely some kind of business i can get from migration um yeah very important yes so that's what uh, i would let you know the step by step of what is the best uh, approaches to doing the things uh, like migration so because uh, if you heard about the togf in, in the migrations planning is always with there into the togf but solution architect so uh, if you're working on the togf part solution architect so the migrations effective or step by step approach is very important so yes cloud infrastructure uh, once you going to moving it from uh, your vmware to cloud you required some uh, you know what the change management things like rollback plans as well oh okay i didn't think okay. of so that. yes we it, it's all together it's you need to understand some management things like and technical things and the concept understanding and uh, you have some backup plan as well once you going to migrate the things so you be talking about each and everything so uh, the important thing is risk assessment is very important to understand how the risk and what are the different different risk and how do you analyze all those risk okay sounds good okay so because we uh, we are i'm going to providing trainings on the pmp side as well project management and the prince to on itel six sigma or oh, wow. you can you can say that uh, how can you keep track of all those things i have <laughs> pmp Uh, I studied it before and I passed it. 
Um, so I'm, I'm because I also managed a lot of people throughout my work, uh, um, but never been a project manager, just doing the resource management, you know. Uh, actually, uh, I'm, I can't believe you know all this. Uh, yeah, well, that's great. <laughs> that's great. So this is what the experience is all about, my dear. Because uh, once you want to have experience, exposure on the technologies, then you are confident to understand the things from the clients and your customers, your, your candidates, and then you want to provide a great solution and the cost-effective solution to everybody. So that's what I'm going to learn it uh, from, you know, what the past 15 years I have learning uh, so much technology, so much companies, different, different implementations, migration, I have done it so many companies. So yes, it's a very vast and very uh, sound experience on those things. That's why I, I understand that what is the requirement, uh, the step-by-step -step approach, migration things, cloud uh, infrastructure sort of stuff. Yes. So together it's, it's a good exposure for you because Whatever the questions you would like to me ask me uh, regarding the management, regarding the cloud, regarding security, anything, whatever in your mind, you can be asked many times so that I'm going to provide the answers, everything. Sounds good. Uh, sounds good. Uh, just to remind you, uh, Mahesh, on the schedule, uh, I would appreciate it if you make it Monday to Thursday. Just to remind you. Yeah, sure. I will uh, create, a, create a schedule Monday to Thursday. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the timing I'm going to share it. Okay. Or I will going to share to you on the the WhatsApp so that okay. we are on the same page and then we're going to be working on the same time. Perfect. Okay. Sounds great. So thank you so much. I guess tomorrow we're, we'll meet the same time or we talk first on the what's up and then we meet what is the, yes i will be? most probably i will going to send you schedule okay so yeah same time no problem whatsoever but uh, anything going to be changed then you will uh, suppose you have some urgent work so you are going to communicate me on the whatsapp and suppose i got some work or anything so that i will yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very flexible so if you have anything you want to do and skip a uh, class or two i have no problem no problem sir my first priority is need to uh, uh, your your knowledge, your expertise, what you're looking for, it your expectations need to be fulfilled. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, Robert, thank you for your time, and it was great to talk to you. And take care. And yeah, okay. I will going to share the things, and then we're going to do classes. Great, talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay, thank you.